it was uh, tougher than I thought it'd be, yeah, honestly. But uh, you know, the crowd made it made it a lot easier. Uh, it was a great support from the fans, and you know, once the game got going, you know, kind of got in the flow, and uh, you know, we just kind of picked it up from there. You know, it was tough, but I mean, I uh, think those things happen, and uh, things are bigger than basketball. But uh, we, we were right there in the game uh, when when things got stopped, and you know, we just wanted to pick up right where we left off, and uh, we came out a little bit sluggish, but. Uh, you know, uh, I thought we picked it up in the second half and played really, really uh, hard uh, second half. I, we shared the ball really well. Uh, uh, 18 assists, kept our turnovers relatively low compared to that, what we've, we have been doing. So shared the ball really well. They played that zone. I like zones. Uh, I had a good year against zones. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And to do it on senior night was special. It's an honor. That's a true honor. Uh, I haven't thought about it, but, I mean, we've had some really great players come through here. And we have such a great history here at Western. And, it means a lot to me. It really does. Just kind of unspoken communication. You know, everybody's a little down after the loss, but I believe we play them again Monday. So uh, we're not going to hang our hang our heads for too long. And we need to. Me and Josh are going to lead this team, and it's hard to beat a beat a team two out of three times. So you know, I think we got a young team. I think we'll be able to bounce back. Uh, we've we've played there before. It's not a new environment, and I thought we had a pretty good game plan. Uh, we just uh, we had a couple of stretches there. We didn't we didn't play that well, and. Uh, you know, we showed in the second half we could we can play with them. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a weird night, you know, a very difficult night, um, and so um, you know, everything started off uh, good. They they uh, you know they ran their break really well. Uh, Central did. They um, kind of punched us in the mouth, but we were able to keep up, you know, during that. And um, uh, you know, I th both teams were scoring. You know, we missed a lot of threes during that stretch, uh, but both teams were scoring. You know, we were able to score inside. Uh, we lost to Leo uh, uh, quite a bit, and then he, he got hot as well, threw in one. Um, but then came the stoppage, you know, and uh, that was really uh, the, the turning point as far as the game is concerned. You know, we came out of the stoppage, and... Um, that was a central just came out more focused than we did. We, we weren't we weren't really all there, uh, you know, and they came out and got after us real good and uh, took the lead back up or took the lead up on us. Obviously, we got down as much as 20 there playing confident. And um, when we got our feet back under us and really started to compete again, we obviously cut it back down to four, you know, and and. Um, uh, you know, but it was too big of a hole to dig out of. You know, so it was a really, uh, really strange night. You know, last year, um, you know, we went through the shooting situation up at Central, uh, and that delayed the game for uh, for a day. And then today, you know, we we have an unfortunate situation uh, up there, and then today we have the unfortunate situation uh, here with uh, with the official. So. Um, as far as basketball is concerned, uh, it was that stretch after the stoppage uh, where Central came out and really, uh, really got after us. That's where we really lost the game. Well, it, I mean, what we talked about, uh, I mean, the thing that was difficult is it was, it was happening right behind our bench, you know, and, and so, um, you know, our guys could see, uh, you know, and, and um, I think it really would have helped our guys focus after that stoppage, if I could have focused more, um, I wasn't. Uh, um, it bothered me. Uh, it, it um, you know, Ed, that's the official, had tugged on my, on my pant leg, uh, you know, when, when uh, right before he went down. And he called out Hawk, and I talked to him uh, briefly. He got dizzy, and obviously from there, you know, they were able to work on him. Um, but I was not overly uh, with it, you know, and, and um, if I'm not with it, it's probably uh, difficult for the kids to be with it. And so, you know, once we got to halftime, we, you know, we, we had talked about it when we went back into the locker room, you know, we, during the stoppage I'm talking about, we talked about it, said, hey, here's what's going to take place. We got to be ready to play. And um, we came back out, and like I said, Central was just in, in a better place. They were in a much better place than we were in terms of being ready to play, and I take responsibility um, for that. I, I, I take full responsibility for that because my focus 
was not great uh, during that time. And if my focus isn't great or if my intensity isn't there, uh, you know, a team feeds off of that, I think. So um, I take full responsibility for that, for that stretch where they, um, where they took off on us. Yeah, I mean, he's, he, he's been so reliable, you know, and we, and we ask him to do so much. Um, you know, obviously, we just don't have a lot of bullets in the gun, uh, you know, when it comes to offensive weapons uh, right now with the three kids that are out. And so, you know, Seth has had to take, that's what makes this even more impressive is that people know it's coming. You know, um, they know what, they know we have to go to him. Uh, they know uh, that we have uh, some offensive weapons um, that are good, but everything plays off of Seth. You, you know, uh, uh, some of the playmakers are the ones that were gone, Jason and, and Bryce and Brandon. And so the, the guys that are playmakers now, we, you know, Seth at times is almost playing point center, you know, in that we throw the ball inside to him and then try and get movement away from him uh, to, so that he can find people, you know. And so um, looking down here, yeah, he had three assists tonight as well, uh, you know, to go with it. And he probably could add more. Um, if we had knocked down some shots because he found some guys away from there. He's just, right now, he's doing it all for us, you know, offensively, rebounding, defensively, and he's such an intelligent player. So happy to see him having this healthy senior year. Certainly not what he wanted to do record-wise, but he knows why he's going through it. He knows the difficulty, um, you, you know, that he's at. And, you know, I got to say this, uh, um, you know, while we're, while we're doing this, you know, what Josh and Seth, you know, it's in there. I'm talking about both of our seniors here. You know, what they've been able to do with those other three kids being down, um, they've handled it. And, and so they're dealing a lot with first-year players. You know, so six of the 11 are first-year players that are now playing. And... Uh, with what they've been able to do with those kids uh, and mentoring them and trying to help them, but the patience uh, and the grace and the class that they've handled themselves in what is not what they wanted to do at all um, their senior year. Uh, they thought they would be playing uh, with, with more veterans than what they have. And the grace that they have pulled this off with, the class, and the, the mentorship, the way that they have shown themselves, um, they've showed a lot of freshmen uh, how to be a Bronco, you know, and, um, through this all, how to handle this, uh, the tough times here. And, uh, you know, it's my hope now that we can move forward, obviously. Everybody just went to zero and zero. Everybody reset tonight. And the conference tournament is here, which is – uh, the third part of the schedule. You know, that's, we talk about it all the time. You have, um, there's three, three seasons. There's the non-conference, uh, then there's the conference, then there's postseason conference tournament. And uh, it's, uh, you know, we turn around and we, we're pretty familiar with the team we're playing on Monday night because we just got done playing them. So we got to go back up to Mount Pleasant and play these guys again. And I told the guys, it's kind of like a playoff series. You know, you, you, you win a game, you lose a game, whatever it is, you turn back around, you play them again. So uh, we'll go back, and, and I think that the guys are looking forward to playing the game, uh, you know, for sure. And uh, they felt a lot better, you know, of the way we came back and feel, feel okay about, uh, about themselves, uh, knowing that they could come back. Uh, we did the same thing up there um, before they, they got out on us, and we came back, cut the lead as well so uh should be a good game and and it's central western in the conference tournament and, and i'm sure josh and seth uh, you know would love nothing more than uh on their senior in their senior year to be able to uh, uh to continue on to cleveland